Hi guys. Okay, uh, today I'm gonna make a short review, uh, not review, a short talk about MREs, but the first thing you may uh, see is that I'm wearing uh, an Indonesian traditional sarong. And the reason for that is that because of my um, injured leg uh, after the surgery, I just can't, you know, put really easily pants on. So this is a really great piece of kit and I, I bet if you know that you know how useful they can be for a survivor or any guy um, interested in survival because they are versatile so if you can check for those tubular um, sarongs from Indonesia or Malaysia I really really advise uh, you to to get one because I've used them when I was in Indonesia uh, just to sleep on the sand of the beach or stuff like that and it was incredible so uh, and I want to thank all of you for your um, you know support and messages uh, for your information the leg is getting a bit better but it's uh, it's really not that my uh, doctor said I have to walk a lot and be a uh, stand because we need the blood to flow down but uh, it still hurts and if I say uh, sometimes Funny things, it's mostly because I, um, I have uh, pain medications that are pretty strong and <laughs> sometimes I just, you know, uh, feel a bit dizzy and mess up uh, what I want to say. So, <clears throat> now the, the MRE I'm going to show you is uh, pretty much suit my needs, but it's not a professionally made MRE. It's what I want to have uh, if I want to have uh, a pack for three days um, in a row uh, where I want to eat. But those packs don't have a lifetime of you know ten years or stuff like that. Mostly, the the ingredients I've put inside have uh, a time. Uh, you know, eat before two uh, k. 11 end of 2k11 or 2k12 so in my opinion everything that's inside that kit will hold up to i bet uh, around end of 2012 so this is count more than uh, a year of uh, time for that but you have to eat that before i think maybe some uh, stuff inside would be uh, better for a longer period of time but the reason why I make those is because I want to have a pack with everything I need but I don't want to uh, to have uh, those uh, untasty meals or just you know only uh, military stuff that is not always the best stuff you can find and those um, interesting meat uh, meals ready to eat are pretty costly here in Switzerland so I wanted to make a bag for a day with a bit of everything I'd like to have because you know not only for uh, food and for the hunger but also for uh, the morale because it's important in a survival situation or even on a hike or uh, a day a walking day like that it's important to have a good morale so we're gonna go through this and see what I've put inside before I close it and the other thing I will do is in a few a month maybe I will make several of these bags and keep one for later and I will try to see how it's going on the field when I eat only that for a day so let's see that in a few seconds okay so here you see almost everything that I have packed inside excuse me <clears throat> so uh, and two options that I'm thinking about uh, first thing this is some uh, smashed potatoes with uh, pieces of meat. Uh, it was in a cup like that, it's too big. I've uh, added that to a vacuum uh, bag and made it much smaller. I'll show you that in a minute. So, I've chosen mo mostly um, ingredients that are closed in, uh, in small packages and that's because it's easier to, to pack and it holds a lot uh, a lot longer when you do that so 
Now <coughs> I'm going to show you exactly how this bag looks and uh, how much energy is packed inside. So this is what you have inside. <coughs> Excuse me, <laughs> it's not practical. So those are Oreo biscuits, uh, four biscuits inside small bag that size. Uh, I have put in a uh, tiny ziplock this honey. Honey is useful not only for food, it could be uh, used on uh, flesh wounds because it helps to uh, scratch resate, to, you know, to repair, <laughs> I don't know, I don't remember the word, but um, to, 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 to cure um, a flesh wound. It's uh, it's really great for several things and it's good for and healthy and you know they have those uh, fake dates eat before this date and stuff like that but uh, you could eat that for years for in something like ten years you could eat that I have no uh, no doubts about that because it held it has inside it um, term antibiotics natural antibiotics and stuff like that. And honey is always good to eat even a uh, long time after. So here, this is uh, the smashed potatoes with pieces of uh, meat, much smaller than its uh, its first pack, you know. And this, my rule when I do stuff like that, I always try to do that in an environment that is as clean as possible, and to clean my hands with uh, hand sanitizer just. To be a little more sure. This is the same thing when I vacuum, um, uh, vacuum form, uh, vacuum. When I vacuum uh, pieces of uh, med kit. So now these are uh, crackers made of wheat, and they are pretty good for uh, you know keeping fibers in your body and having having something uh, in the stomach. They hold a long time. This is a, I think it's a Swiss brand. Well, it's pretty clear because of the Swiss flag here. And this pack contains six of them. Okay, uh, this is a pretty obvious uh, noodle meal. Nothing to add about that. A quick soup with oats inside. Four hard candies here. Uh, always good to have those for a little more punch and energy the belly stove bar I told you about and this is a small you know brew pack in which I have everything to make one liter of iced tea this is uh, sadly the the one that um, uh, that can be used the, the longer are those for uh, you know people in uh, diet so it doesn't have a lot of energy, but it's good for morale and to have something nice to to drink. Always, always pleasant. Uh, this is a little vacuum pack of salt. Two bars of uh, coffee. I have three uh, sugar sugars uh, bars like that because. Well, I, w I won't use them for my coffee because I like my coffee small, dark and intense. But I, I could make, I could use them just bare like that, raw, uh, for um, adding sugar to my body. Maybe I could add even one more. Um, it's mostly for that purpose, maybe with the cappuccino here. It's a bit big, I'm looking for smaller ones, I haven't found that yet. Um, if I make some natural brew with some stuff I find around the woods, maybe it could be great to have some sugar. Um, don't know. Just better having that, that um, not having that and <laughs> having only your eyes to cry. Um, the reason why I use a smaller pouch, it's because when I vacuum from that, I want to have the air out. I don't want it to, to be totally compressed. Uh, leaving you know a, a kind of bubble inside. This is the same here. And for this one, I'm gonna think about it. Um, 
I'm not sure, maybe I just cut. I wanted to be sure no honey will go inside the pouch. This is the first time I do that on my um, MREs. So, now I'm gonna pack that bag. So, this is what I count for uh, one day of, well, let's say, kind of survival. It's not truly survival, it's survival food, but uh, I think you can hold one day. I'm gonna show you the calories it has in, inside in a few seconds. Just wait for it. I would say it's not a, a tiny pack, a really small pack, it's it's quite big. Well, what I'm gonna do is just that, like so. I'm gonna try that, let's see if this works the way I want it to work. Anyway, if it breaks, it breaks. Um, I have honey everywhere, it doesn't really matter. And the candy. Okay, now I'm just gonna vacuum from that one. I'm happy to be at my parents' home because uh, their their um, vacuum uh, machine is much better than mine back home. So I must say, when I'm here, I always use it a lot because mine just suck. Uh, not only air, it just simply suck. So now let's vacuum that.